So what do we mean by permanent set when we are talking in, in, with reference to the stress strain curve? So here is, is how we are get arrive at the stress strain curve. We are straining this uh, metal rod, uh, this metal bar, and because of which certain strain is developed, and then finally it breaks. So that is what we are talking about when we are looking at the stress strain curve for ductile materials, which means that materials which exhibit a certain amount of elastic behavior, that is all of your metals. There is a region of the curve OA in which they exhibit the Hooke's law where the stress is proportional to strain. Then the region AB where the material is uh, elastic. What does that mean? It means that if I remove the force from the material, it would revert back to its original position. So till the region OB, the material is elastic, which means that if I remove the stress, it will come back to the original position. This is exhibited in the better way uh, in this uh, diagram where we have only shown the important points. Okay, So this is the region till point B. If I remove the stress, I go back to the original position. If I continue to apply the stress beyond point B okay, and I take the material to let us say point C and then I remove the stress it will not be able to go back to point O but it will come to a new point O dash where even after removal of the stress there would be some amount of strain present RAIS some amount of strain present and this amount of strain is known as permanent set. So it is the energy that I have spent till point B in applying the stress I will get it back completely the material would give it back to me completely. If I remove the stress, I will go back to the original position O and I will get back all my energy. After point B, which is known as the elastic limit or yield point, after point B, if I continue to supply the energy, some amount of that energy goes into breaking the bonds of the material and that energy is permanently stored inside the material as potential energy. I would not be able to get it back. That energy causes the strain in the material even at zero stress and that is known as permanent set. Notice that these two lines are parallel and they have to be because the Young's modulus in both the cases is roughly the same. So these two lines have to be the parallel. It is the same material. So the stress and the proportionality constant between stress and strain should remain the same. The Young's modulus should remain the uh, same. Okay, So these two lines are, are parallel. It is just that I go back to a new point, new point O dash. And the difference between O and O dash is known as permanent set. So hopefully this is very, very clear. You might get numerical on this permanent set. Okay. Thank you.